Feels just like going on a hike. In the real north. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in my bed for this introduction because I'm tired. Um, today we've got lots of things. Lots of fun things. Um, if you're new around here, this is my series as a new gamer in general. I've been playing video games since about January and it's November now. So, um, I have been exploring different games and really enjoying Minecraft and learning all, all about Minecraft. I, uh... I'm a little obsessed with learning, and so I spend a lot of time um, trying to figure out things. Um, I've been having a lot of fun, and I think you'd have some fun if you came along with me too. If you're interested, give this video a like, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel, um, and come along and figure out why I'm called the Dramatic Herbalist. Let's get started on today. We've got a lot to do. Hello everybody. Um, today I have lots of adventures planned, but <laughs> the first one is the one that I uh, don't understand whatsoever. As you can see underneath me, I have been making a redstone contraption and it does this. This is my third model. I have well, you see, I, I saw a mumbo jumbo video with a block switcher for soul sand and magma blocks for a water elevator, which I am making up at my northern base. And uh, the issue that kept happening when I made it was that the block, the, the bottom piston was firing first and pushing the block up and then the block underneath was getting pulled back by the second sticky piston. Well, that's no good. So I tried another design by a YouTuber that I can't remember the name of. Um, and I ended up with the same problem. I could use a lever and make it work, but for some reason using this pressure plate was no bueno. Um, and one thing I need is, like, that pulse extender with the comparators there. Um, yeah. It was a whole thing. But then I found this lovely video by Tinker77, so thank you. Um, that's a zombie. That was a zombie behind me, right? I'm not seeing things. I see things sometimes. Yeah, let's go look. It is a zombie! Come at me, bro. Um. Bye-bye. <coughs> Anyways. Um, this design has not had a problem with the whole switching thing. And I honestly have zero clue what the issue was. You'd think for somebody who spent a large portion of her bachelor's degree drawing complicated electrical wiring diagram things, that this would come naturally. It doesn't. The, the last thing that I need to try, and I don't have any scrap blocks at this point, so we're going to take down some of the old prototypes so I can uh, keep using some of the derp. The last thing I need to do is extend my pulse extender. And I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to do that properly, so come along and find out, I guess. And then if they're going that way, this one should again go that way. And doop. Oh my gosh, it works! Alright, well, what I need to do then is craft up some more comparators and grab some other things from around here and head right back on up to my base. See you there!
All right, we are gonna get started on this redstone contraption. First, we gotta dig ourselves out here. So I think I determined that, let's see, it needs to be three blocks down technically. Possibly four. Four. We'll go four down. Because that will, yeah, make lots of things better. Okay, well, this is potentially perfect. Let's give it a little check, huh? Huh? I'm gonna go do. We step off. Whoo! Not convinced that's quite long enough. How long does it take to go up a water elevator? That is the question. Well, it appears that there is a uh, no clear answer whatsoever on how fast elevators go in Minecraft bubble elevators. But I feel like I the the the, the problem is I feel like that's no faster than it was with the two, right? Let's check it out with just the two comparators. We go dupe and dupe. So why don't the other comparators make it take longer? Because that's what they're supposed to do, right? So that was about five seconds. And that was about five seconds. So I am wondering if Perhaps, after a little bit of digging in the wiki and various other places, I'm wondering if perhaps the, the comparator pulse extender no longer works in this edition of Minecraft? I don't know, that's the best I got anyways. Um, so, for the moment, I'm going to dump a bunch of things into a chest, run back, grab some slime balls because I apparently need sticky pistons in order to make any sort of like hopper clock type thing. And then I'll be back. See you in a bit. All right. I think we've done it. I have <laughs> I've tested this with my turtle turtle shell on um and it worked great, but now we're going to test without it because I'm not always going to wear my turtle shell when I'm going up to my base. We figured out our comparator issue. They needed to go that way rather than that way. But let's, uh, let's try this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my goodness, it does it. Where's that zombie? What? It sounds so close. And then the sounds change, and then we go down, and it sucks us down. If we really want to, we can shift, since we're going to need to get out over the magma, magma block anyways. And I wasn't wearing my helmet, and that was amazing, and we did it! Oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> I feel fancy. I feel, I feel like I'm an amazing... I'm a, I, I, mm. Do I play Minecraft now? Is like is that an official thing? Like, I'm a official Minecraft player. I know how to do stuff now. 
All right, my kitty friend. Oh my goodness. You got yourself stuck in there. We're going to bring things up with us, but we're in good shape now. I just wanted to take a quick moment here to thank everybody for all their support on last the last video I did. Um, most of this episode was recorded before that video was released and I just woke up this morning and saw a bunch of comments and new subscribers and I was blown away and it really made my day. So like, thank you guys. I, I appreciate it so much. And if you're new around here, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you've made it this far in the video. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody. That support meant a lot to me. So I really appreciate you guys. Let's get back to our video. All right, so. Today, we're going to go on an adventure. I really need my warm clothes on the, for this. One second, please. And I'm back. This looks much more cozy. Much more walk in the woods -able. All Alright, I'm going to grab a helmet. I'm really starting to get a collection of helmets. I don't... Oh, okay. That works too. Nope, that doesn't. <laughs> I'm really starting to get a whole collection of these things. I'd like to be able to enchant eventually. I did some combining of various things and lost some levels, but hey. It's all in the name of making my equipment better. Anything I should bring with me? Well, a bed would be good. We'll start doing some farming up here in a bit. But the very first thing that I want to find is a dark oak forest. And I don't know. I just have this feeling that if I head over this hill, I might actually find something. So we have a plains biome over there. We'll grab some cows eventually. Some other critters. But I do love not having a fear of walking on the powdered snow anymore. That's pretty amazing. Hmm. Got spruce that way. Plains that way and the ocean eventually. Oh, doggos! And I don't have bones on me again! Ugh. Oh, this is a pretty common theme I'm finding. <gasps> and a fox! Oh my goodness! them so much. I'm gonna have to come and get myself some of those friends. Okay, but can we talk about the absolutely incredible snow sounds? Like, it's a pretty good dry snow crunch right there. Oh, oh, oh. We've got... Oh, it just keeps going. There's a river. I didn't bring my boat, which was incredibly dumb of me. Why would I do such a thing? All right, and then we're just gonna yeet down. Let's see if we can't do this trick. Where we place water and then grab it and yeet down the side of the mountain with the water. <laughs> Oh, it just stayed. Interesting. I'd like to point out that everything I know about this game my husband taught me. Well, that and a little bit of YouTube. And a lot of obsessive... <sighs> consuming of the Minecraft wiki and... A lot, a lot of YouTube tutorials. And 
Okay. There appears to be a village up there. I think the sun is just setting. I'm not going to make a run for it. But, but yeah, that's a village, so we'll, we'll, we'll stop in. Say hi to the locals. Oh my goodness, it's a cute little... What is this, Taiga Village? Oh, I love this. I love this double door. That's... That makes a lot of sense, you guys. No clue where I am at this point. That's a scary looking cave, so we're just gonna kinda... Scooch away a little bit. I have a bit of a feeling I've seen this village before. I think... I think this is the crazy one that we saw before. You know what? I think this might be where I got my beet seeds. Definitely the crazy village and definitely beet seeds. I uh, may have accidentally... Oh, that's a carrot. That's a potato. What? Carrot? What? Well, I got one, one, one beet seed out of it. What? Okay. I may have accidentally composted all my beetroot seeds. Oh, he was so pretty. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to come back out here and like do all the exploring for all the pretty little animals that we need as friends. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Instinct was wrong about the first direction. But what if we went up that mountain? Let, let, let's see. What happens? Do we, do we find a... Oh, gosh. It's a great start. Oh. All right, then. That's a, a lot of snow. And a lot more snow. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to climb that mountain. This is beautiful. <gasps> it's got a bunch of ice. It's a glacier. It's a full-on glacier. Oh, that is good to know. I could take that down or I could leave it because it's also very pretty. Guys, I've gone over 2,000 blocks, and it's been the same three biomes. Spruce, forest, and plains. Oh, I'm getting a little tired of this. Not even sure, like, where to go at this point, how to get out of here. can always take a straight shot back, but that wouldn't find me anything new, would it? Ah, home again. Home again. And let's try out our magic redstone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I didn't find dark oak, though. Like, what the heck is up with that? I traveled a, probably a 2,000 by 1,000 area. Did not find any dark oak. It was all that same plains, spruce, forest, except for that little bit of swamp. What the heck? Anyways, I'm going to go deposit my treasures. Okay, next order of business for the day is to, well, make ourselves a little XP farm. I found this zombie spawner literally right under my house. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's right in the middle of everything, and I mean everything. So, um, I'll kind of show you the location as we go a little bit, um, but like, that's the side of the hill right there. Um, there's just this little crack. Um, this is gonna be kind of in the, in our farm area. We'll seal this off, dig it out a bit. I have made a farm with a zombie spawner before, and 
you know, it's just a zombie spawner. There's nothing we're gonna get from it except XP, and honestly, that's good enough for me for now. Um, but I did make one before when I was playing on the PlayStation, so yeah. I'm gonna dig this out. Come along with me. Oh! No! No, 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 no. We don't do that here. No, 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 no. Oh! That was scary. Where'd he come from? Not from the spawner. Could not come from the spawner. Okay, so currently I have turned this into a 9x9 nine nine hole and have dug three blocks down from the spawner. And I think that should be enough depth. So we're gonna fill this in with water eventually, but first we need to make our little transportation tunnel. Let's put you there. So, we have gotten our little death drop right here. Let's not go down that. And we'll just place a sign right there. That will stop the water flow. And a sign right there. Okay. Is that... Do we want to sign there? You know, I'm not convinced that we do, because we're going to bubble Vader right up to this spot. No, I don't want them getting stuck up here, though. No, because the water should flow from that point, so no sign. Um, but this is our bubble Vader column, and there are a couple of things we need to just add in order to have a fully functioning bubble vader. So I believe, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we dig here and we will end up with, if I'm recalling all this correctly, soul sand right there and then fence and fence. Yes. That seems, that seems right. <laughs> um, and then we do put a couple of signs oh, right there. So our bubble vader isn't overflowing. And we'll go ahead and put our ice in and all the water up top now. Oh, that is an issue. Let's jump for now. It's fine. All right, so first things first. We'll place Two water sources there, so we have an infinite source for right now. And then we go up. And we should be able to well. First, we're going to break these as we go down. And then we're going to place ice all the way up. Hopefully I have enough in this stack. Perfect. Um, going to place our bucket of water there. Break our torch. And <laughs> Oof. 
down. We break some more. We grab a pickaxe and go up so we don't suffocate. This is the tricky part, isn't it? to just add that one right there and we should have a nicely functioning bubble later yeah all right well this should be completely functional at this point except for taking the torches out and I did kind of want to put some tinted glass in here. I think I'm going to fill it up for the moment because my amethysts are back at the um, other, the, the farm base. Um, but I do think that This should be functional once I pop those torches out. And the last couple, pop. And pop. And we'll take those couple out and pop a couple in. And they are definitely spawning in there. So, where we can go, um, so you can see this kind of just like pops out right towards our ice there, but I have made a little access point to this whole little cave system, and we will clean this up and turn this into a farm area eventually, but these guys are going to fall right down there. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It works. Can I kill them in one hit is the question. Oh, not quite. Oh, look at that. The other thing we can do is, I mean, there's not a lot of loot we'll get, but we can also put a hopper and chest in here, potentially. But now, let's pop on our helmet, and we're going to go get some purple shiny bits to make some cool glass. And I'm going to show you what I have done. So I have spent a bit of time making some infrastructure here in the nether. And we have an ice road that goes all the way from our snow base. Excuse you. Two. Ready? Our farm area, and it's nighttime. So I did make a little little spot here, and we're just gonna flop down to bed, take a quick nap. then here is our little farm area and I always end up ambushed by creepers and skellies in my little acacia overgrownness in there but uh, speaking of all right fair enough there's so many creepers around here it's Terrifying. There we go. We have a nice little observation window. Amazing. And we can watch them just spawn in and work their way up the ladder there. The bubble leader. Oh, there they go. You know, the nice thing is, I think they're bringing any blocks 
that get dropped in there up with them. Pretty cool if you ask me. Well, I think that's that as far as uh, this... As far as this setup goes. So we got a couple more things today and we'll go head right on over and do those. One thing I did up here was make a fun little area for my kitty. So she has her little bed, couch, wool area thing. Of course, a litter box. And a little cat tree. And a lovely little fish tank to watch. I'm maybe a little bit obsessed with it. It might be a bit of a problem, but I love it so much. It's very cute. I still cannot handle how absolutely beautiful this is. Just, and this music is so perfect for it. I just, I love it so much. And I feel like it's a little dramatic to like, say that in a video game. But like, this is my dream. My real life dream right here. And it's special, it's special to have, to be able to build that, even if it is just in a video game. To have that little hope and that little dream. It's pretty great. I love it. Did you think we were going to give up on exploring? No, we're not. There's my house up on the hill. It looks so pretty. But I still have to find... Oh, let's grab a bone. Let's... Can I pick it up, please? Oh my goodness! <laughs> we do be spinning out of control here. Yes! I has a bone. Ooh, that's a drowned village over there. Let's take a look. I do love me sea lanterns, but I am afraid of the drowned. Uh, no, that's a guardian temple. I think that's a guardian temple. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but, uh... No, it has to be a drowned village, right? Right? Plus, I was so close. They would have totally... They can't be a guardian temple. Oh, no. No, no, those are guardians. Those are guardians. Um, yeah, no, 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 the, 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 the ocean monument, whatever thing. No, we're not, we're not. Wait, is this, this is, I did not realize there was a temple right there, but, um, that looks more like a drowned village there. Still scary. I only have one sea lantern right now. Alright, well, let's see if we can't get this sea lantern and get out of here. No, 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 here they come, here they come, here they come. No, 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 no. I don't like drowned. They're very bad. No, no, we're not going to do that. No. I want sea lanterns so bad, but they're currently not worth the risk to me. <laughs> no, we won't give up on searching for that dark oak that we need so easily. We will set out across this ocean here and see if we come across anything with dark oak. Oh my gosh. And that right there is where we go to get back to our house. It's literally a big donut. A big donut of full of water and completely connected with the land. I'm not happy about this at all. I want my dark oak. All right, so you may have noticed from the uh, blocks that are starting to pile up on the ice outside that we have a bit of an Enderman problem. And well, we're gonna hunt some Endermen. I'm a little nervous, very scared. Um, but I'm going to equip myself with a couple of boats and 
this gold sword with looting and a smite. I don't think a smite works on Endermen, unfortunately. But I'm hoping to get some Ender Pearls because eventually I would love to go to the end. I think that's th that this is kind of the first step in achieving that goal. So right down this way. Oh, I do hate the nether though. Actually the worst. You can hear them already. Oh, we've got several of them. Right there. Okay, we've got a couple there. Terrified. Will they come after me if I hit their friends? It's the other question. I don't know. I suppose let's see. Ah! shoot them? We can't shoot them. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, this is perfect. Yes. Got that guy there. And... And we have six whole ender pearls. Oh, that's exciting. Oh no, my sword broke completely? Oh, that's not fair. Let's see, I have this theory about endermen. I think they actually just want to be helpful. Like, why else would they bring their blocks around and, and, and hang around and they're actually really cute. Like, it's kind of sad that, like, when you look at them, they get angry. And I feel like it's a, like, you know, Weeping Angels type of defense mechanism. And I, 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 I kind of feel bad about it. All right. All right, he's mad. Did we get another ender pearl from that? I don't think we got an ender pearl at all. Dang it! Well, now I'm a little upset. I do need those ender pearls. Like, those are the important thing about this whole mission. Like, I'm not actually concerned about the blocks being placed down everywhere. Here's the thing. This one is my very first ender pearl ever. And I feel like it has to be, like, put aside in its own place of fame? I don't know. That's something pretty special. See, the scary thing about an Enderman is how fast it can get to you. Oh. Oh, hello. Were you mad at me? Nice. Still no Ender Pearl? Come on, guys. Ha. There he is. And an ender pearl, and I think we're going to call that good for the day. <laughs> well, that was an adventure of a day. Oh, I'm shaking from that enderman hunting. But, oh, hello, Mr. Skelly. Oh, but... It was good. We got seven whole ender pearls, which is exciting. Um, and we... We did some things. We kind of failed on our 
expedition for dark oak, but don't worry, we'll get there. We'll find some. We'll find some. We have to. For my sake. But yeah. It's uh it's been a fun day. Oh, I I, I did uh I did pop the aquarium through the floor there. You can kind of see that. Um but yeah, it's 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 been a fun episode. <sighs> And I am ready to, I don't know, take a nap or something. Seriously, I'm shaking so bad after that Enderman hunting. I feel bad for them. It's not their fault they can't be looked at. But anyways, I'm gonna go do my own things now. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!